Black Lives Matter Bay Area. Um, and My name is Monica Swaney. I'm with the Arab Resource and Working IT Center, otherwise known as ARA. And we're going to jump into it. So, Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy has informed a wide range of struggles for liberation and dignity in the U.S. as well as internationally. Third World Resistance formed last year in 2015 around Martin Luther King Jr. Day to lift up and highlight the militancy and internationalism that was the hallmark of the last phase of Dr. King's life. For that reason, we again join movements for liberation and self-determination here in the U.S. and across the world in celebrating MLK Day to continue to build black power and resistance. We rally and march today to draw attention to the ongoing war from black people and the repression of people's struggles through self-determination in the U.S. and around the world. So in that spirit, we will be reading essays from different segments of solidarity from around the world and from movements represented right here and movements represented by these beautiful flags right behind us. So the first one is from the Alliance of South Asians Taking Action, also known as Osaka. They stand in solidarity with the struggle for black liberation. We recognize that our history of resistance to British imperialism in the subcontinent and our fight against Islamophobia are here in the U.S. and are intrinsically linked with the history of black resistance. We rely on the Filipino liberation movement. Lion's commitment as a mass movement is to uphold and dedicated to work in memory of thousands of Filipino martyrs who laid down their lives in our history this one is from Gabriella. Filipino working women, the working women of the United States, and the black people and women have one objective, one interest, and one struggle. The struggle of the black people connects with the struggle of the working people around the world. And from Haiti, in the Haiti Action Committee, just as we in the Bay Area are fighting against the police murder of black people, so it is in Haiti. Haitians are now in the streets almost every single day. The mass movement is telling the U.S. and the United Nations occupiers, don't steal our votes. It's demanding reclaim Haitian sovereignty from foreign occupation. And this is from the National Alliance of Organizations, State, and Municipal for Social Justice. Brothers in Solidarity of the American Union received greetings from more than 80,000 day laborers from the Valley of San Quentin and Baja, California, and the millions of agricultural workers from Mexico that, like Martin Luther King Jr., stood up to combat racism, discrimination, segregation, and many other adjectives that have harmed human beings. And from Vietnam, Dr. King's leadership in opposing the war on Vietnam was the turning point in the anti-war movement. While the war then in Vietnam was decades ago, new wars around the world are being fought by the same imperialist and colonist powers, especially against our African brothers and sisters in this country. And this is from the Arab Resource and Organizing Center. We know that the liberation of Arab people from here to our homelands is inextricably linked with black liberation. We know that anti-blackness is manifested in Zionism, imperialism, and colonialism. And we know that we have the duty to continue to build across all of our struggles. From al the organization that supports Palestinian prisoners in Palestine, was the lynching of Emmett Till, a 14-year-old child in Mississippi in 1955, draws disturbing parallels with the burning alive of 16-year-old Palestinian Muhammad Abu Fateh from Jerusalem in 2014. The words of MLK resonate well for Palestinians. These calls are the calls Palestinians continue to voice. Today, Palestinians continue to call for the right for 